Hi there, Becky. So you got uh, sweet, so what are you cooking? I'm gonna do a dark chocolate and coffee eclair. And you're gonna be making a shoe pastry? Yeah, that's, that's a the tricky end. one to make. Yeah, I didn't use a recipe, so it might not work. You didn't use a recipe? I know what it looks like, so hopefully it'll work. Fingers crossed it all goes smoothly. Keep an eye on the clock. I make shoe pastry quite a lot at home. I mean, I find it pretty easy, but <laughs> some people have a really hard time. I know what I'm doing, I'm not stressed, so. Precise measurements going in. <gasps> I've made two desserts in my entire life. I've never baked a tart before, but I'm gonna do not one tart, but I'm gonna do two tarts. One, dark chocolate and coffee ganache, and white chocolate and vanilla ganache. Melissa, just a moment here. Okay, you were not thrilled to get sweet, okay? I never make desserts at home, and if I do, I do like a no-bake something. Do you have a shot at that advantage? I think I do. I think if I start getting my life together right now, I could probably do it. I like the attitude. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Good luck. Bye. It's not a big deal. It'll be fine. It's not a big deal. Where's my sugar? Sugar, sugar, sugar. Oh, there it is. Right behind you. I'm hoping the judges are hungry for breakfast. My parents' diner used to be a breakfast joint. My parents' restaurant was called The Den. When I was six years old, I was peeling potatoes and pouring coffee for people. So I'm making coffee-infused pork breakfast sausage patties with soft poached eggs and a coffee mole sauce. I'm calling it The Den 2.0. 10 minutes, Jeff. 10 more minutes left. 10 more minutes. Great coffee dish. Oh, God, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Now it's just a matter of putting it all together. Becky, it looks like she's done finished. She is unflappable. It seems like nothing rattles Becky. She's always in the zone. Becky might have enough time to actually make herself a cup of coffee. Not quite. That ice cream is still not set. This ice cream needs to speed up. Oh, man, this is cutting it close. One minute left. One more minute left. One minute. Oh, this is going to be close. There we go. Oh, yeah, baby, that's good. Oh, my god, my plating looks awful. Amazing job. Incredible. We did it. <laughs> the judges have been observing and tasting throughout the challenge. Now, they take one last look before choosing the three most promising dishes. The winner of this mystery box will receive a huge advantage in the upcoming elimination challenge. Top 12, they say you will always remember your first mystery box. And by they, I mean we. All we need to know about how you work under pressure is right there on your plate. The first dish we'd like to call up was made by a home cook who found an ingenious way to infuse coffee into every single element on their plate. That plate belongs to... Kagan. Bring your dish up to the front, Kagan. Oh, God. I mean, the first challenge, and I'm going up, and the judges are going to taste my food. Like, what? I've got a coffee-crusted steak, pureed celery coffee, and a little uh, condensed milk. Kagan, how do you think you made out? I think it's one of the nicer plates I've ever plated. Well, so do we. That's why you're here. What cook were you going for here? I was going for a medium rare. This is a little closer to medium, I think, but I, I believe it's gonna be a nice cook. Let's see if you hit the target. <sighs> That's beautiful. This makes me really happy. This makes me really happy. More importantly, though, how does it taste? Those flavors work so well together. The smoked Jerusalem artichoke, the seasoning on the beef, competition has begun. Kagan! The dry rub, tell me what's in there. You've got coffee, we've got star anise, mm -hmm. and we've got uh, fennel. Let me try that. What I'm seeing here is genius. I mean, you have quite a invasive spice on steak, but you know something? 
that puree with the condensed milk neutralize it. I would be very proud of that being your first mystery box. I feel like the happiest person alive. Chef Alvin called me a genius. Only my mom does that. The next home cook that we'd like to call up took an ambitious suite that required a lot of skill. And we can't wait to see if it paid off. Becky. Don't really get excited about things, but I'm shaking on the inside. It's coffee and dark chocolate eclairs. The recipe you used was right off the top of your head. Yeah. For a classic shoe pastry. Something that pastry chefs work relentlessly at to perfect for years. Yeah, I just did it by eye. That's pretty impressive, I would say. Let's take one of these, open it up, and see how it looks from the inside. Look at that. Pretty full in there. The pastry cream is incredibly soft. And you have a good balance of coffee in there. And that dark, bitter chocolate works really, really well with it. I think you could have cooked the shoe pastry buns a little longer. Yeah. But it is very good. Which is why I had to have a second bite. Let's taste. Watch out behind you. Incredible. The coffee flavor just pops. The pastry cream is beautiful, smooth, and velvety. It really is incredible. Thank you. The third and final dish that we like to taste was made by home cook who impressed us with a perfectly composed plate. That dish was made by Michael G. I can't believe that I'm walking up. I'm goosebumps, my heart is racing. I'm actually on the verge of crying. Uh, today I've made for you a coffee-encrusted spiced sirloin steak with a yam puree. We're fellow mathematicians. I must say, this equates to a very, very nice-looking plate. Thank you very much. The steak is perfectly done. Thank you. The puree, very, very rich, but you cut into that richness with the pomegranate. It all adds up. Thank you, Chef. Great cook on the steak, seasoned well. It's so easy to overcook it, and you were able to cook it, get a good caramelization to it, introduce that coffee flavor, but still have it moist and tender. Not easy. Simple bean salad, lovely little vinaigrette, maybe just a little sweet. Having said that, a lot of great elements came together on this plate. Thank you, Chef. I hope it's not beginner's luck. <laughs> Thank you. This is amazing. To hear these judges and what they've said to me, that's a huge, huge honor.